Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Supermarket Prep. I hope you're having an amazing morning. Hope you guys had an incredible three-day weekend. Good morning, Peter. How are you doing today? Good morning, Carlos. I am great. I had a very busy three-day weekend, but got lots of stuff done. So uh, very happy with it. How was yours? Uh, weekend was good, man. Very relaxing. Uh, you know, I had a great Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to those out uh, celebrating uh, over the yeah. weekend. And um, other than that, man, had a had a great, great weekend. So can't complain at all my friend um i know you've been doing some work on some on your deck uh it's just looking pretty good i finished uh finished painting it this morning and or staining it i guess this morning anyway so yes i've had a busy morning too so all uh, revved up ready to go for the markets now absolutely man absolutely all right guys let's get to it um our gappers list let's start there this morning we had a couple of things moving around. We have uh, three in the green, PayPal, Rivian being two that we recognize very quickly. We've seen dice before here, uh, so we'll see what's happening there. Up thirty seven percent, so interesting. And then we have a uh, PDDX, Beth, Billy. I mean, all names that we know. Uh, Neo all down this morning. Just not great news coming out of China too, Peter. We'll get into the global stuff in a second here. Um, but there you have it. A nice, decent list to start the week this Tuesday morning. Um, Peter, let's go to our market pulse and see what's happening uh, for the markets today and this week. Yeah, overall, the uh, global markets are down a little bit. So a little bit of red on the screen, but nothing major. I think, uh, you know, probably recoverable. Um, pretty light on the economic calendar. We have housing starts uh, that uh, just came out a few minutes ago. They're up from uh, previous period. So uh, housing starts, they, they rose um, uh, 21% over the last month and uh you know they rose uh let's see and building permits were up 5.2 percent in the month of may so that's good news for the economy usually more house building shows uh you know a, an economy that has a little bit of confidence um the only other thing that we have today is uh looking for the new york fed president williams who's going to be speaking 11 45 pretty much zero market impact expected from that um, keep in mind that the big action is happening over the next two days. You know, it, it may mean nothing to the markets, but whenever Powell testifies or speaks, you've got to be aware of it. So um, he's testifying to the House tomorrow and to the Senate on Thursday. So those two activities uh, are something to keep an eye on, which means, uh, you know, the markets may react to those. I think those both start at 10, but they tend to go for multiple hours. So it could just be one of those as people are interpreting those comments and it's getting fed through to the markets. Um, we could see some weird price action. So be aware of that. So not today, but tomorrow and Thursday. Other than that, you know, we're, uh, we're just looking for some, uh, well, I was going to say earnings, but I checked the earnings, nothing. We, you can tell we're well out of earnings uh, season right now, and there is like nothing on the, the earnings calendar at all. So all we got to look at are the gappers and see what we can find. Yep, absolutely, my friends. Uh, let me go ahead and mute this phone here. Um, yeah, let's see what we come up. Again, a little bit of a slower start, but we'll see what we can pick off from this gappers list. Looks good right now on the downside. A lot of good stuff on here as far as tickers. Um, but we'll see what we have here. Let's get control A, control X removes our watch list from uh, Friday. And let's dive into this gap up list that we have. So Dice is the first one on deck. Oh, yes. Uh, someone mentioned this, Steve, over in our chat. Looks like a buyout. It, it definitely does look like a buyout here. 1.6 million, gapping, gapping up 37% and just moving flat at the moment. So definitely buyout type uh, action here. Are you okay? <laughs> no, it's yes, no. Usually, usually you have it like you say it is a buyout or it's not a buyout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I thought you were still going. I, you just I was done. Like something, uh, something broke. You know, it is a buyout. Listen, I sorry, I didn't realize that was my. Listen, we, we we take we take three <laughs> days off buyout. and we we got to remember how to do this again. We completely I, forgot, you know. I, so I, it's like we, three days off. We're just 
got to get back into it. <laughs> Apparently, it's too much. We're, we're, we're out of sync this morning. Absolutely. Yes, it is a buyout. $2.4 billion is the estimate uh, price, and uh, it's uh, uh, $48 a share is the price. So as always, you can see how the price goes right below that number, and it's going to hold there. So it doesn't make for good trading. Okay, yeah, no good. We'll leave that alone, guys. Here's KC this morning. This one is a King's King's Software, King Software Soft Cloud. Um, so this one's up here this morning, up eight percent. Doesn't look great, uh, by the way, as far as pre market action looks all over the place. Very light volume. Um, I, I, the name sounds familiar, but I don't, I can't remember. Uh, but either way. Looks horrible here. I don't remember these guys. It says it's out of China. It's a software company out of China. Uh, I mean, there was some news uh, over the weekend that some of the, their CEO and uh, the vice chair of the board were uh, buying shares up in the company. So that's usually a sign of confidence. But uh, that's really uh, that's the only news I saw on it. Volume is pretty low. It's only hundred thousand shares. I I've never I don't think I've ever watched this thing, so I have no idea what it would trade like intraday, but Probably it's going to be a no, 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 no for me. Yes, definitely a no, 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 no on this one, guys. Um, all right, let's see the last one here. Rivian, which we know very well, um, up this morning 3%. So you got some action coming up this morning around 8.30 or so, 8.25. Uh, anything happening with this one? I know you um, said there was, there was you know, no earnings for today, right? None? No, there was no earnings on, on anything. No, there's a couple of news uh, items coming out on, uh, on the EV sector uh over the last few days like we last week we talked about all sorts of different uh you know news elements anyways that are, that are coming out but um um I, you know let's see rivian i didn't see anything specific but but if you guys have something let me know generally on the sector we're continuing to see increased production volumes out of all of the large manufacturers that combined with the um, price decreases is just signaling increased competition, right? Because the market pie isn't necessarily increasing, although they're making some inroads of taking over the number of vehicles compared to the traditional ICE internal combustion vehicles, but not significant, like they haven't wiped out that market yet. So um, I, I think at this point, uh, you know, we're, we're sort of, the analysts are, you know, it's funny because you, if you sort of read the reports, they're all over the place, right? The EV sector is going to take over the world and others are like, hey, don't count out the, you know, traditional vehicles yet. So I'm not sure where we're going to go. But anyways, um, uh, whatever it means from a stock perspective, you know, we can keep looking at these because they keep moving, right? Uh, Neo also had, well, I think Neo's on the gap down list, but Neo had some volume, XPEVs on the gap down list. Uh, of course, Tesla, you know, we know the names. They're, uh, yeah. they're, they're yeah. always good candidates, right? Because there, there's volume in there. Yeah, Neo uh, last week, as you guys know, had a nice break out here trying to get going, then a huge sell-off on Friday. So it's been a little more active um, the last couple of days, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I think one of these, uh, or both days traded very well. Uh, last week so we'll see if neo's changing the way it trades it has been besides that it has been really bad to trade um it just hasn't been moving overall you know 20 cents per day here on 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 typical moves so um we'll see that's changing obviously last two trading days much different so on rivian i'm on the fence guys right now on rivian whether we add this one or not um maybe a possible maybe we'll do that i mean it is getting some volume we'll have to see how this ends up yeah i would love for this to break out if it's not breaking out of here um, you know, it can be a tough one just going back and forth between 20 to uh, 40 cents here the entire day. That can be a tough trade. So let's see what happens. All right. Yeah, let's get to I really our, don't see yeah. any news this morning. So if any of you out there know why it might be moving, let me know because uh, I'm curious now. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We got one spike here around what, 825? Uh, it's a big number of shares. Let's see if that continues. Um, yeah. All right. PDD this morning and the gap down first on here. And again, a lot of Chinese tickers. We got PDD, XPath, Billy, JD. So far, I don't believe it's Chinese, but Neo and Baba are. I'm not sure if SoFi is, um, but uh, they're down. I don't think they are. But almost everything else here, guys, is again, some negative news came out of China and their economy. So that has not been... Uh, treating these companies very well. And you can see the reaction here. Um, let's go through them. Let's pick our favorite one. I know. Yeah, go ahead. The, the interesting thing was the JD, uh, there was a positive announcement that mm -hmm. JD said that their, uh, sh the, the shopping festival, it seems odd, but China and Japan both have these shopping festivals, right? Or uh, what was uh, in Japan? I think it's singles day. 
is one of the largest uh, spending days in Japan and in, in China. It's the shopping festival. But anyways, they beat expectations and their numbers were good. But, um, you know, so I'm not sure why JD is gapping down as, as well as PDD because, you know, the news in the immediate term seems like it was relatively good for them. But uh, we, we are seeing a little gap down on all of these. Yeah, yeah. Um, so TG over in our YouTube is asking what platform we're using for our charts. This, this is actually Dash Trader Pro, but you can get good charting on uh, trading uh, tradingterminal.com. If you go there, we do have a good charting tool that you can use. Uh, and you can also see the uh, live market data. You got a couple of tools. So if you go to trading, tradingterminal.com, you can take advantage of that. But this is this is here is the uh, Dash Trader Pro, which is a platform that a lot of us use for uh, for trading. Um, uh just going back to uh, Rivian, I give a shout out to Chris P in the room who says that uh, Rivian was uh, is going to announce that uh, Tesla's, uh, th sorry, they are going to allow their customers to use the Tesla supercharging stations as well. So uh, once again, another auto manufacturer, it sounds like jumping on board the, the uh, Tesla supercharging network. So I guess that's good news because Rivian certainly doesn't have their own, uh, you know, <laughs> the, the depth of pocket as uh, as a uh, you know the sorry a tesla does to build their own station so it's good they're getting on there and that's probably why it's moving so thanks again chris p all right there we go um all right so getting back to our gap down this morning well i have that in my secondary we'll see what comes out of it um out of all of these i know baba is probably one of my favorite ones to trade i think it, it trades the best out of most of these Chinese tickers on here. So I'm going to have them on deck. They're, they're not looking all that great right now. I do love this gap down that we're seeing here. Shout out to almost 94.50 here. Uh, then this sold off on Friday, and now we're back down to 90. So again, just overall China stuff not looking good. People are saying China that they, they, they're not getting the comeback uh, in the economy that they thought they were going to get when they, op when they opened up, you know, uh, for business so that's affecting them not good stuff here's pdd down five percent guys two hundred forty four thousand. i also like this drop i'm not a big fan of pdd and the way it trades but i think today um which is all ne the, all, all the negative news go out there i think this could be a good one um yeah might be a chinese kind of day today so i'm gonna put pdd on the list there as well uh let's see what's happening with billy this morning uh billy's also down less volume could be a good secondary but i'm probably going to skip on it just to give my room uh give my list some room for other stuff that can be moving here is a jd down 4.1 uh this could be a good possible swell today i think this can trade well i'm just going to put it um i might actually change pdd for jd uh, but pdd's pre-market action looks slightly better so let's see here's neo today um, Neo, 1.8 million shares trade right now, down 3.1. I just have no faith that this stock is going to continue to trade well. I mean, the pre-market looks horrible right now. Um, besides the volume that we're getting, we'll have to wait for the market open to see if Neo is going to give us something. Um, they had two great days last week. I, I don't know if that's going to continue. Outside of that, they just don't, they're not moving. You know, 20 cents per day is just not, not going to cut it for us, right? So we need a lot more than that. ENVX is on here. This looks horrible, guys. Barely up, gapping down 1%. Um, 120,000 shares traded. So very light on volume on top of that. I just don't see anything I like on this, uh, at least not right now. And that's our list, guys. That's what we have. Peter, on your end, what do you like this morning? Uh, a couple of things. I should go back and mention Baba. There, there was some news specifically on BABA, -B -A, Alibaba, that um, Jack uh, Ma is, we knew that for a while he said he was going to be stepping aside and sort of, uh, announcing uh, a number of different leaders for the different elements of the company, potentially breaking them up and listing them separately. There was a move this weekend. It's an announcement of some of the you know expected names taking over different parts of the company. So that's uh, got some uh, impact. And like you were mentioning, Carlos, news out of China. You know, just the disappointment in their um, their they were, people were expecting they would lower their lending rates, and they did not, or at least not as much as was expected. So, um, so that's. Uh, you know, uh, probably what's causing the uh, the drag mm -hmm. in this whole sector. So, yeah, I think you said it might be a China day. We watch some of those Chinese stocks, especially the stocks out of China and that are dual listed in the Hong Kong um, exchange, and that'll be good. Uh, a yeah. couple specific ones that I'll mention to you because they just have different news out of them. PayPal, it's just it's on the gap. Well, just under the threshold for the gap up list. It was actually on it earlier this morning. 
Um, got a little volume this morning. They've got an agreement in Europe with a company called KKR to, they basically are offloading about $43 billion, American dollars, 43 euros worth, 40, sorry, 40 billion euros, 43 billion US dollars worth of their buy now, pay later, BNPL uh, portfolio. Um, basically, uh, it, they, they're de-risking their their portfolio, and I guess KKR sees it as a good opportunity to make some extra money if they can manage that risk. So interesting move there, new partnership. So um, PayPal may get some price movement after the opening bell uh, rings because of that. That's a big big portion of their uh, at risk portfolio to be selling. So um, anyway, so keep them in mind. The other one, which is I, I thought might be interesting interesting space spce only because there was some news that i think it was either yesterday or sunday i can't recall now but um it, it was just a couple of articles that i was reading that were talking about there is a uh i didn't realize this but if you have lots of money you can take a luxury submarine tour to the titanic uh the you know the site of the titanic and there's one of those submarines that has gone missing yeah yeah, like they, they, I don't know, it's missing. They don't know where it is. Presumed if it's missing for too long, you're dead. <laughs> so, but anyways, what was the reason why this relates to space is because, you know, the, the, the articles were talking about last week, we were excited about the announcement of perhaps the first commercial flights into space. So they've been talking about it for a while and it's going to start happening. This is people are using as a warning of the risks of, you know, sort of this adventure travel or, you know, when you're sort of on frontier type activities that, you know, there, there's big risks associated with that. So, well, I just, you know, I don't know what that will mean for, for space uh, and the stock. It, you know, it's gapping up this morning, but um, but there is like over a million shares traded on it. Interestingly, it's a low price one these days, but I just thought, you know, some interesting news, maybe worth keeping that in mind, especially when we don't have a lot else on the list. Yeah, I agree 100%. So good luck, good luck to those guys. I think they have four days of oxygen. Uh, and this happened Sunday. So if if, all, if everything if everything is working functionally, you know, but that's... yeah, you'd be more worried about uh, <laughs> the people killing each other or panicking or doing something yeah. stupid or were, were they actually prepared for, you know, <laughs> people living in that thing for four days, that would be a stinky capsule if they come oh, back up. Oh, I, I think that's, Peter, that's, that's the least of their worries right now. But yeah, yes, I, I agree. How disgusting that would be. Anyways. Yeah, yeah. That cleanliness is probably the least of their worries right now. Uh, but Yeah, that, well, I guess so. But yeah, uh, anyways, yeah. if, if they're missing, yeah, it's, uh, you know, anyways, I don't even know how you recover something like that. Nas, you know two of them on, you know two of those on board? For seriously? Really? Oh, wow. That is crazy. No way. I didn't even know there was a tour for this. Yeah, I, I didn't realize until the news came out that this when, is something. When the news came out, I'm like, do, so. who wants to go down there? Just look at the movie. I mean, come on, man. It, that, that is so dangerous <laughs> to be at but that it would pressure. Be, I mean, I get but it. you it know what? I get it. Cool, I get it. But yeah. Listen, our fearless leader went to Mount Everest. So, you know, I, yeah, I, exactly. I get the risk. It's it's a thing. It's a thing, right? So, uh, man, that is that is, uh, that is crazy. Well, four days, but they've been looking for a while. So good luck to them and God bless them. But, man, it's not not looking great. Um, yeah. All right, guys, let's get take a look here. So let's take it to the chat, see what you guys like this morning. Um, let's hop over here. Tickers, tickers so far. PLTR, let's take a look at PLTR today. So PLTR this morning, we're down 1.5, 1.5 million shares traded. I like the volume, but PLTR is not trading well again. I mean, it's just so choppy. It doesn't move. Um, yeah, I know we had a good day Friday. We had a good day Thursday. Um, today, maybe it's got good volume. We just need some movement out of it. It is down 1.5. So maybe we can get something out of it. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, right. there's, uh, I mean, no, no big news on it, but four different analysts did actually downgrade their estimates for PLTR. So, uh, could be that, uh, maybe some of that reality I was talking about is starting to seep into the AI sectors. People are actually looking for the revenue and profits that are coming, you know, expected to come behind the hype, but, uh, we'll, we'll see how that affects it. PLTR has had a good ability to shake off those, you know, temporary downturns and move back up as you can see over the last couple of months. So 
Um, yeah. But it, you know, yeah. worth worth always keeping an eye on because it does. You know, it does move. Yeah, it's it's been moving well, and actually, it's been moving very well after May 9th. But it seems like every time I watch it, we have a choppy day. So maybe I don't watch <laughs> it for you guys, so you guys can trade it and and, and have a great day. <laughs> but uh, let's that, see. Bro. It's on my list today. Minus stay as, a, as a, one of my main. Hopefully, you can move it down to secondary. All right, let's take a look at uh, what else you guys like this morning. We have here Bridger giving us INTC as well as PLTR. So we saw PLTR already. Let's look at Intel. Uh, Intel, I mean, this is uh, it is up almost 1%, 583,000 shares traded. So not a whole lot of uh, activity on this one. It's been very active, guys, since the end of May, right? End of May, we saw the pop here coming up. This was some AI-related stuff. I mean, it's just been trading not AI and not uh, Intel-like because Intel trades horrible. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how the price action will be at the market open. I think it'll be a great possible as we continue here with this a AI tech, you know, uh, I don't want to say bubble, but tech explosion that we're getting, right? And we'll look at, obviously, AMD. We'll look at NVIDIA and all those good ones. Uh, actually, looking at AMD right now, we're um, we're slightly up. Last couple of days, we've seen kind of like a little bit towards the red side of things, and we're down almost a percent. I think AMD could be good today. Um, let me see AMD. I'll look at Nvidia as well. Man, Nvidia continues. Sure. Nvidia, on the other hand, Peter, is up. It's on the green side and continues to just crush here. Uh, this there could was be a there yeah. was an analyst report that came out this weekend that suggested that Nvidia over the next few years, Nvidia will become the most valuable company on the planet. Which, uh, being that it's a roughly a third the size of Apple right now in terms of market cap, that's quite a prediction. That 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 would mean the Nvidia price would have to go up to about thirteen hundred dollars uh, to just get you know, on parallel with, uh, with Apple. So I don't know. I mean, uh, it, it's had a great run and it's certainly a strong company, with good prospects, but 1300 a share, uh, that feels like a long way away. So we'll, we'll see. I mean, you know what? I mean, if you look at the stock price of how many that have come before, right from Amazon to Microsoft, to, I mean, to Tesla, you know, they, they, nobody would have believed that they're at the prices they are now. So yeah, so man, I, I it will not shock me uh, with everything AI related. This thing and the contracts that they're making with other companies, and every company wants to get their piece on it. So, uh, and, and you have a lot of investors too that want to be more safe. They're, they're not going to put their money on AI, the actual AI here. They'll put in like an Nvidia, which is probably their their leader, you know, as far as that. So, um, yeah, uh, I like it this morning, guys. Definitely have it here today, and we'll see if we can head towards. Uh, their all-time high here at 437 13 so it's a stretch but we'll see um uh yeah intc yeah guys it is interesting on the daily it really is i mean this thing has been cranking um and if you look at was end of may if you look at ai as well you know just end of may we, we had this ai just like uh, pop right everything just went nuts here uh, on the tech sector so you see that there as well and you see that with nvidia you see that with many other companies same thing with nvidia here it's here end of may well, end of May, NVIDIA had their huge jump, right, which is incredible. So it's a lot of stuff just going nuts here. I just, for me, I don't know how well they're going to trade. Their price action seems a little funky. They seem a little toppy here, but nothing is toppy for AI the way it's trading um, in these tech companies. So if you, if you yeah, like I, it, put I, it on your the, list. The daily looks attractive. I mean, it, I, I like yeah. that price movement. I, I even like sort of what it did, almost sort of closed where it started on Friday. Um, so, you know, it looks like it could be poised for a move, but like you said, Carlos, it, it's really sort of a crapshoot because, you know, most days it, well, you can sort of see that, right. It doesn't move much. And, and when it does finally move, it's hard to, hard to take advantage of that because it's hard to predict to that move. So, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, maybe today's the day when, when Intel will give us some good signals and a good opportunity, but, uh, but the chances are that it's not. Yeah. Just be cautious if you're going to have it on your list. I will have it as a secondary. I think there's some opportunities here. And I agree. Daily looks really good today. Um, I see a couple of you guys throwing out AI this morning. Let's take a look at that. Uh, then we'll take a look at Amazon, Tesla, of course. Um, here we have AI this morning up 1.4, 502,000 shares traded. <sighs> um, yeah, it looks very active, guys. What's in the red this morning? Back in the green. Uh, this could be explosive. We saw it go up almost to, what, 48, 49? Um, yeah, 49. So, you know, maybe wants to test that again. I do like AI and it has been trading well. I have yet to trade this one, 
Um, but it has been trading uh, very decent. Look at the drop off yesterday. Got a lot, a lot of movement there. So that was nice. So we'll see. Again, I have personally not traded yet, but I'm always looking to take an opportunity on this one if we can. Uh, let's take a look at Tesla. Nas is giving us Tesla here. And uh, also, uh, what's that? What's the other one? I lost the Amazon. All right, so let's look at Tesla. Yeah, <laughs> this should be the first one on our list. I mean, this thing is just every every day, guys. 2.7 million shares traded. Look at the pop we're getting here, right? So we're getting a nice little, um, not the pop, but look at the daily. The setup that we're getting on the daily looks very good. Red to green this morning, uh, just looking, looking nice. Um, all right, let's take a look at Amazon. Man, I have way too many. I went, went from having nothing to too much now. I got to delete some stuff here. Uh, Amazon also going red to green here this morning, uh, up barely uh, almost half a percent, but the move has been a lot bigger. We we're down at 124, now up almost at 126 here. That's also moving well. I love the daily. The good thing about this daily too is that you're at the bottom of the range. Look at the bottom of the range here, previous day close. So even if we move just to the top of the range, you know, that's, a, that's almost two bucks. It's a good move. So um, that's doable. Even if we reject there, if it doesn't run too much before the market open, you can get a really nice move here uh, on Amazon. Um, so yeah, all right, we got to fine tune this list here. Anything else, guys, that looks good? Uh, Rivian, we looked at uh, Microsoft. Oh, you are long. Robert Toy is long, uh, right. holding to 15. Very nice. All right, so here's Microsoft. Microsoft this morning. Uh, yeah, I think Microsoft, Apple. I mean, I got some already on here. Uh, Microsoft. Yeah, it'll, I have to really do some work on this list. I might do that when Peter's doing announcements because I got way too many. I'm going to fine tune this. All right. One that was has been active over the last couple of uh, week or two, right? CCL. So CCL has been very active. We're already 1 million shares traded. Uh, American Airlines, another one, has been moving pretty decent. Look at their day on Friday. So you're getting a lot, a lot more movement, a lot more range. Usually this, this thing was stuck, like trading uh you know 40 cents top per day so now we're getting some movement here which is nice um so yeah ccl could be interesting today and and i know very extended guys 14 to 16 as things are getting better um we'll we'll, we'll look at this we'll come back and check this out all right i have to stop here because i'm just completely out of room and peter in our chat is giving us meta uh yeah yeah i'm i'm just gonna have to keep it off for now though you know what what the heck is this long? What's one more? What's one more? Then put Meta on there as well. We'll find it's this. a lot of the old you. standards and you know stuff that we just regularly watch. So yeah, nothing yeah. Really wrong with that, right? We're... Yep, absolutely. All right, friends, let's stop here before this list gets any longer. A lot of good stuff. Uh, we're gonna find some. This we, we'll pick our top five and we'll try to minimize our secondary list here as well. But now let's head over to our community events and announcements and see what's coming up for uh, uh, for this week as we uh, get ready on this Tuesday morning. Just got to make sure you got the most up-to-date information, Peter. Uh, well, well, Carlos is doing that. I, you know, one of the ones that I keep checking is Kodak. We joke about them, but really, when they start <laughs> to say that they're in AI, um, you know, you know, the, the trend is over. almost over. So, uh, <laughs> what's their ticker, just, uh, Peter? What's that? What's their ticker? K O D K. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. If you uh, see Coda come up, run. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. You, you, you know that, uh, you know, the lights are about to come on and everybody's going to be sent home on the AI party. So anyways, not yet. No, no news yet out of Kodak. So we're, we're good. We're good. Party's still on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's talk about what we got going on this week. So short week this week with the holiday yesterday. Hopefully um, everybody recognized Juneteenth, uh, which was the reason for the holiday yesterday. And uh, that means that our onboarding class, which is normally on Mondays, was moved till tonight. So it's an earlier time, 7 o'clock tonight with Mike and Megan. I think it's Mike and Megan. Uh, I know We know that Megan's traveling, so it may just be Mike. But either way, um, it's going to give you an outline of what you can get out of the Bear Bulls community, as well as some uh, introduction training you know, basic indicators and some other information for you. So hopefully you'll join them at seven o'clock tonight in the onboarding room. Uh, Tuesday, so tonight we also have our strategy session and tonight's strategy session is going to be delivered by Andrew. 
Uh, it's going to be it's talking about how to identify market turning points when you're mastering a reversal trade. So uh, he's going to be talking about that. I mean, Andrew's got a number of strategies that he uses. We watch him in the morning. Just he understands the markets like almost nobody else that I've ever met. So uh, it's uh, it's great to always listen to his insight and uh, his point of view. And we'll have an opportunity to do that tonight at 8. So again, 7 o'clock for the onboarding, 8 o'clock for the strategy webinar if you are an elite member on that last one on the strategy next week i'm going to be talking about how to, oops sorry uh, how to uh, trade multiple strategies i trade different strategies throughout the course of the day we'll talk about how you can manage that uh, as part of your trading journey because some people come in for a very short time and focus on the market others like to stay for the whole day and so how do you do that and how do you manage your strategies we'll, we'll talk through that as uh, as i present next tuesday the 27th um, Wednesdays are about psychology, and this Wednesday we're going to have Kreta with us. Uh, Kreta is going to be talking about how to imagine your way to trading success. You know, this game is 80% mental, if not more, and you need to pay attention to your psychology, which is why we spend a lot of time helping you with psychology courses, lessons, and experts in the field that can give us the information we need to be able to manage ourselves and our mental makeup appropriately to be successful over the long term. Uh, Crate is going to be with us tomorrow night at five o'clock. Remember, whenever Crate is here, it's an early time. So five o'clock, one hour after the market close to uh, deliver this webinar for us. Hopefully you'll join us if you're an elite member in the, the webinar room for that. Next week, Randy Howell is going to be talking about self-mastery and how to apply that to your trading psychology. That will be back at the regular time of eight o'clock on Wednesday, the 28th. Thursdays are about mentorship. Oh. There you go. Thursdays are about mentorship and Thursdays we've got John and Thor that are regularly with us. John at 11 o'clock, Thor at 8 to deliver their respective mentorship sessions. Great chance to get in-depth on questions and really, you know, sort of talk with them one-on-one -on -one and, and get some stuff addressed. So always great sessions and always a lot of active participation. So hopefully you'll join both John and Thor on Thursday. Uh, as Carlos had showed us the options chat room is open for us three days a week. This week, only two days. It's only going to be Wednesday and Friday. Uh, Jared is leading that with Megan's support again with Megan uh, on vacation. Hopefully she's having some fun back home in beautiful Montana. Uh, I assume it's beautiful. It looks good in the pictures anyways. Um, that uh, she's uh, enjoying her trip back home and uh, we'll have the opportunity to continue to join Jared in the options chat room. I know she's planning to try and trade as long as the internet connection is good enough for her to do so uh but they are that room is always open uh, on wednesday friday and of course it'll be open next monday from 9 to 11 and then again 12 to 1. anything you want options whether you're brand new or you're just trying to figure out what they are and you know what all the terms mean like me or if you're an expert you can go there and uh, they'll be happy to help you out um if you uh, want information on the markets, tradingterminal.com. We had a new member in the room, and hello to all our new members that may have joined this weekend, by the way, who is asking, where do you get your news and your information? A great source is tradingterminal.com. Really, it's got like, we, we're we building this out. It's something that's the intended to be a one-stop shop for all traders. So go in there, check it out. If you've got feedback, we'd love to get it. Uh, we've got everything from analyst reports to insider uh, reporting to, we've got a live um, scanners. Uh, we've got a replay mode. We've got a simulator. I mean, all this stuff is available in there. In addition to news and IPOs and earnings announcements and all this stuff that uh, you can get. So check it out. It's really uh, full of information. There's even uh, an academy where you can get some uh, specific courses on uh, different topics if you want to uh, delve into your training. And if you want to join us at the Bear Bulls chat room and talk trading all day while the markets are open, we'd love to have you at Bear Bull Traders. We run uh, the equities chat room as well as the options chat room I already talked about. You can join us using an introduction offer for only $24. Pre-market 24 is the code. It gives you one week access, access to some of our courses just to give you a feel for what the room is like. And you can make a decision. Is this the right community for you? Uh, we, you know, we work on being welcoming and, and want all traders to be here. We understand that every community is not for every trader. So hopefully you'll check us out and give us, uh, give, give the old tires a kick, right? And see how good it is. Oh, speak of the devil. There's Megan. 
she's here she's she's alive and and in the room so hello megan um if you wanted to join us on a more regular basis we've got the basic and elite monthly packages and if you're ready to make a commitment you've decided you're going to stay here for the long term then the elite annual is your best deal use the uh the elite annual uh, join button and you can get half price compared to the monthly elite package so with that hopefully we'll see you in the room sometime soon carlos let's set some levels and get ready for the uh the opening bell yep absolutely all right my friends here we go and as i, I was trying to find on this list our buddy Bashoto in our youtube chat reminds me that paypal looks good and it does and it does and i don't have it on my list and i should have it on here so Let's before we get to any type of levels, let's uh, let's uh, let's look at where Megan is trading from. This is Megan's office window today, so she has an amazing view here of uh, of wow. some nice uh, nice blue skies and greens. Man, beautiful, beautiful view. So enjoy. <laughs> Hopefully, if this if this helps you trade better, just don't just stay there. I would just stay there. I you know I won't come back. <laughs> <laughs> so if your trading performance gets better than what it is already, just just, just stay abandon there. the house in California. Oh, just, just stay yep. there absolutely beautiful <laughs> enjoy that um all right uh i, I told her i don't like her uh, so much this morning i like her a little bit less for sharing that uh that um that beautiful thing that she's trading from all right let's get to it guys so this morning we have baba i'm gonna keep that's gonna be my favorite chinese ticker for today because i do like trading them pdd looks good though so i don't want to remove this one um uh, man pltr i'm gonna have to move uh, one of these down right so we'll do uh, between PDD and PLTR, I think I'm going to go with PLTR. I think PDD is the sleeper tonight, uh, today, and I don't want to miss that one. I think that one could be really, really good. Could go for a nice run. Already pre-market showing us great action here. A down 5.2. I like the daily on it, so we'll keep that one. Uh, AMD is a good one here. NVIDIA, you cannot have... Uh, Cannot have, not, cannot not have that on your list, if that even makes sense. But um, AMD, I'm going to have to move AMD down. Here's the reason why, because I know Peter will watch it. He'll call it out, so that's good. And uh, I can focus on NVIDIA and see if that gives us a great one. I love the daily here for a possible retest of the all-time highs at 434 there. Uh, AI is explosive already, up 2.2, 600,000 shares traded. You got to watch Tesla. Uh, and then we have Amazon and uh, PayPal. So both of these looking good. I think I'm going to go with PayPal today. I just want to bring this down to five, guys. How many we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we'll bring it down to six. Um, so we'll move Amazon down because I think PayPal. You say is five, guys? <laughs> five guys. Five hey, guys. See, Peter, you, you've been you've been working hard this morning on your steps. <laughs> so by now you're probably starving and you're thinking about food. Um, I guess so. <laughs> so that's probably what it is. All right, guys. Wow. Look at this secondary list. We're not even going to worry about this today, guys. It's only the main list right now. Um, we have Baba here, PDD, NVIDIA, AI, which I like there too, Tesla, and PayPal. we got an amazing list here. Let's do some levels, and then we'll see if we can fine-tune our secondary list even more. But uh, our main list looks real, real good right now. Um, all right. So as far as levels, I have the pre-market on this one. We're looking at a 9078 will slam a level there so you guys help us slam levels on uh, that thumbs up over on youtube we appreciate it on um, baba love the pre-market being created right now so we'll wait for that to kind of settle down a little bit um, but we do have this area here 8980 we want to mark that down anyway because we do have tons of support there you see that here here and here as well we stalled there before we just created this new brand minute Brand new five minute candle. So you still want to have 89.80 there just in case. Towards the bottom here, we're going to look at uh, some levels here that are on 87.92. And you actually got the big level of resistance right here, 86.84. Look how many touches you have. One, two, three, four touches right on that 86.84. Towards the top, guys, highs and lows for the last two trading days got you covered. Um, really like Baba today, like this sell off here. Let's see how that continues into the market open. Um, here's PDD. Again, a lot of weakness. Uh, on our Chinese tickers with just uh, everything not going their way this morning. 78.85 is the high of the pre-market, the low of the pre-market. We've got a good, uh, again, very similar to Baba. We got this base here um, where the breakdown happens. See that breakdown there? Yeah, 75.93. We want to have that there. That can be good support and resistance if we if we start playing around that level. Our pre-market low right now is 75.58. We'll come back and mark that. I think that can go lower. 
um, we can always go come back and update that. So, but towards the bottom, Lev was 74.94. So we want to have one there. And we also want to have 72.86 towards the bottom. Uh, towards the top, since a lot of these were, were just rallying the last couple of days, right? Your highs and lows are going to cover you towards the top there, your previous day close. You don't really need to add anything, right? Keep it nice and simple there. All right, let's head over to NVIDIA, which is in the green this morning. Uh, it was all the way down to the low of, what's this? This here, this 421 was the low from uh, two days ago, right on here, right? So that is our pre-market low this morning. You can see it there. So you're set on that area. If we were to drop to 410, it's the next level I see. Uh, again, I don't see that happening with uh, NVIDIA today, um, but who knows? I have the pre-market at the moment. We're looking at a 430, 429.28 to be exact. Good level on the pre-market high there. And then above that, guys, highs and lows for the last two trading days. I do have this four. I'm not sure what this uh, 434 is, but if I move this out of the way, um, yeah, I'm probably a recent high. We'll, we'll remove this for now. There we go. We don't need it. Highs and lows of the, of the last two trades. This is doing a pretty good job towards the top there. All right, let's look at AI. AI getting very explosive, going from 4340, the low of the pre-market, which is marked below the pre-market, also the, the low from the last trading day on Friday. So you're set there. High of the pre-market, 4590. Big sell-off on Friday, trying to recover this morning towards the top highs and lows for the last two trading days, Thursday and Friday, all the way to 49 and 48. So again, seeing a little bit of action towards the top this morning and towards the bottom, you have the highs and lows of the last two trading days as well. So we're kind of smack in the middle of these two main levels on our on our daily here. Here's Tesla, tons of volume, guys, 3 million shares traded. And if you look at our highs and lows for the last two trading days, you pretty much got some pretty some set levels here. Uh, previous day close towards the bottom as well. I like this area here, high of the pre-market around 462.40. So we'll slam a level there. And then towards the bottom, we do go all the way down to 256.30 as far as the low of the pre-market on Tesla. Got nice range here on the daily. Um, we can break either way here, up or down. But we just, Peter, we seem to get just nothing but positive news on Tesla. More people joining their, their charging network and big companies kind of partnering with them. It's just all positive for these guys. So um, so good stuff there. Uh, and then uh, this level here, 251.33 towards the bottom. So really like what I'm seeing here with these guys. Uh, PayPal. PayPal, yes, we added this as well because this, what was the news on PayPal, Peter? They were they were getting... They, they sold uh, their, uh, their buy now, pay later portfolio in Europe to a company called KKR. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So they're getting out of that business. So that's looks like it's working out for them. They're not, they're not getting um, out. They just offloaded some of those loans. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. That not the actual process, just the, the, the exactly. loans. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right. That happens. Okay. Yep. Yep. Good. Um, that's positive. Of course, 67.95 is the, the high of the pre-market here this morning and towards the bottom the last two days, not bad for them going from 63 to 66 and now to 67, uh, almost 68 here. So they are in a little, a uh, nice little uptrend the last couple of days. Towards the bottom, low of the pre-market, 65.69. We will slam a level there. And I think you're pretty much set towards the bottom. Um, highs and lows below that. And then towards the top, we do have the big level here at 69.56. So there you have it, guys. Our list this morning, my list, BABA, PDD, NVIDIA, uh, AI, trying to get to crank things here. Tesla looking good as well. And then we also have PayPal uh, on the upside uh, as well. So secondary list i mean um let's go through this we'll keep amazon amd that's good potr is good ccl i'm gonna remove ccl let's get rid of this one microsoft we'll get rid of this one for now it just makes it a little bit smaller intc ah uh, uh, man i i have no faith they're gonna trade well rivian could be okay today um but no no, no not really jd JD looks good. JD's another one, guys. I have Baba up here, but JD's another one that can trade very well today. Look at the gap down, down 4.6. That could be another one. We have Neil here, which, again, I have no, no real faith in. We'll get rid of that. And then Meta is another top possible as well. Can I do this? No, I cannot. All right. We'll put Meta on here as well. All right. That is our list. Uh, let's take a look at what the moderators are looking at. Peter, anything has popped up that we should look at before we continue to our moderators list? Nothing new that we haven't already talked about. No. All right, cool. Let's look at our moderators list here. We'll bring this over. Guys, as we are doing this, help us get to uh, 145 is our number on the likes. Let me go check here. Are people back from vacation from the three-day weekend? 86. Yeah, they are. We got 237 
uh people watching on youtube so we are we're back in full swing here so excellent um so yeah if you could help us there that'd be greatly appreciated we love to be over around 145 is our number um we usually end up getting it after the show is over i see a couple of people trickle in with their likes but we like, like to see that actually live while we're here um so i can thank you about for it you know so that'd be great all right moderators list let's go here we are Moderators list this morning. I'm going to scroll to the top, make sure I don't miss anyone. And we have Thor, uh, first one on the list this morning. He's looking at some futures there. Also, stocks, Tesla, Apple, and uh, Exxon Mobil, I believe that is XOM. Um, Rob Sill is looking at Tesla AI, Jared, Tesla, Nvidia, Amazon. Secondary list Zoom and PayPal, Coin and Mara this morning for Jared. Um, no IPOs Well, uh, this morning or SPACs today. And then um, Peter looking at AMD, Tesla. PayPal, secondary list, POTR, Apple, and BABA. Uh, and uh, Brian this morning looking at Tesla, NVIDIA, AI, JD, and BABA on his list. So there you have it, guys. So, uh, setting, uh, actually, this morning, it's a lot more active than I thought it was going to be. So that's good for us. Starting the week uh, running here. So that's very, very nice. Uh, uh, fascinating. Jared, your Zoom? I mean, I see a news that Kathy Wood is buying. <laughs> Arc buys Zoom, sells Tesla. So are you looking for, are you looking to short Zoom? What's uh, what's your thought there? It's, uh, it is not doing anything so far, but that's a odd one. Jared, Jared knows something we don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, he, usually, he always knows something. He always does. Know. I'm like, I'm not even going to question it. He's, he's got something yeah, up his sleeve. Given, it's but... usually what he ends up doing. Um, all right, guys, so there we have it. There's our list. Brian and Andrew are live next uh, to take us to the market open and kind of see what they're looking at this morning. And um, and we are all set. You cannot find us on YouTube. Make sure, oh, for those that don't know, we do have three YouTube channels, right? And, and we'd love for you guys to follow us here. And there's a reason why we have three. Um, we just didn't make this up out of thin air. Uh, but yes, we there's, we have three YouTube channels. And what they are is Bearable Traders, uh, it's our main channel, so follow us there. That's where you're going to see Andrew's recap. recap. And then we also have um, Trading Terminal. Trading Terminal has a channel, right? So follow TradingTerminal.com. Let me see where, where can I get the list of all these uh, channels. Here we are. Here, so that's the best way to, for me to look for it. So we have Bearable Traders, right? So follow. Uh, this is our main channel. We have the BBT Community Channel. I'm not sure if you can see this, but that's where we have the, our live pre-market show. And then we have our Trading Terminal Channel, which only has 194 subscribers. So if you want to uh, sign up for that, that would be great. Subscribe to all of these and, and you will be set. Can we send links for this? Is that a possibility? We could put links in chat. Um, sure. Uh, we should be able to, right? So Yeah. Here's a yeah. link right there. There you go. So you guys can follow those channels. Excellent. Or if you follow one channel, Right, let's say you follow Bearable Traders. Um, I think you just go to the home page, or if you follow, you're gonna see the other channels that are attached to this, um, to our three uh three YouTube channels. So excellent, guys. Um, thank you so much for joining the pre-market prep. We appreciate it very, very much. Uh, I think we're all set. Peter, anything else? No, not for today. I'm just eager to get the market open. I've, I've been missing trading the last couple of days, I have to admit. So i um, looking forward to the opening bell and uh, having a good day. So, Carlos, have a great one. Everyone out there, trade safe. We'll be back yes. tomorrow. Absolutely, guys. Take care. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.